first let me say what a privilege it is to stand up here alongside so many people I deeply admire, uh, to Sheikh uh, Yusuf and Idris, uh, my brother, Indigenous Pastor Ray Minicon, Bishop John, Father Jim, my dear brother Nader, and of course our, our beloved Sheikh. It is unfortunate that it has taken such a painful situation to bring all of us together. And yet we must acknowledge that we are very different people from very different backgrounds. We represent different faiths, different cultures, different heritages. Some of us here are European Australians, some here are Indigenous Australians, many are Lebanese Australians or persons from other Arabic countries and at least a handful here are Persian Australians coming to this country from Iran. And yet all of us here are Australians and all of us here are deeply concerned about what is going on in our Australian community. Something very disturbing has been happening in our country in recent years such that ordinary Australian people can now be taken from their families, detained, imprisoned and deported without ever being told what they've done. In the name of national security, it seems that many persons, especially visitors to our shores, have lost their right to a fair trial. In order to protect our democracy, it seems we have sacrificed some of the fundamental human rights that make our democracy worth protecting. The case of our brother, Sheikh Mansour, is not just the case of a good man being mistakenly 